Hi, Soul Family. Well, today is an interesting day. My work line, my website, it's not working. People can't get through. The car calls are, are everything's buffering. Everything's buffering. Facebook, everything's buffering. Uh, YouTube, everything's buffering. Everything is stuck. So there's stuck energy that needs to get flowing again. So there's a couple of things we do. When something doesn't work for me, I go do something different. So I've been vacuuming and, you know, getting rid of all the cobwebs. It might be what it is. Cobwebs in your mind, you know, skeletons in the closet that are kind of cluttering things up. Go through things. Get rid of things from the past. Something's in these glasses. Your glasses aren't clear. You're not able to see things properly. You're not looking at things through the eyes of spirit. You're looking at things through clouded lenses. So meditation, a clearing meditation, a cord cutting, absolutely, um, and clearing and shielding meditation. I'll put one, um, wow, that's even worse. These glasses are, are toast. It's time for new glasses. Um, hold on, let me grab another pair. Don't ever get a clear coat put on, on glasses because it, it's so sensitive. It, um, they get scratched really easily. And these ones are so, <laughs> these have bifocals in them so that I can see distance and see uh, up close. And the, the thing that sucks about these is I used to just use the cheaters like everybody, right? The, the dollar store cheaters and it was fine. And I could see at a distance like a hawk. And then as soon as I went down and had got a prescription pair of glasses, not, everything's messed up. Now I can't see at a distance and I can't see up close either without assistance. So anyway, these are when I first got them and I didn't know about transition. I didn't know about the progressive lenses. So these have <laughs> bifocals in them, but at least I'll be able to see you. So think about that all in symbolic terms. Everything that happens is symbolic. Everything, everything. I tried to teach my landlord and it frustrates me He's open, he's open to it, but he, he doesn't see things on the same way that I do, which uh, shows you that when you're trying to work with people or deal with people that don't, that aren't spiritual people, it's frustrating for everyone. Like I was, he was telling me something and I was like, wow, that's exactly the story. And I said, you understand what that is symbolically? And he doesn't listen. He's just like, yeah, yeah. And he just continues on. Oh, wow. These are weird feeling. <laughs> but see how they don't have the non glare. So then the, the light gets all shiny. Anyway, um, so it's frustrating for me and it's frustrating. For, well, it's not frustrating for him because he just doesn't listen, but I'm just like, oh, I want to pull my hair out because I'm trying to say to him, that's not what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at, you know, I don't really care that the guy blew his knee out now that the, the best player is off the team. What I care about is I'm shown that the one, the best player on their team, they don't want to let go. And that's why they're interfering and causing blockages because if they lose that best player, their team's down for the count. And I know who that person is. So anyway, it's frustrating when you're not with people that are in sync with the way that you look at life, right? Anyway, so um, everybody's, everything's buffering. Every, everything is um, unclear. And there's a need to see things through proper lenses. So I'm recognizing the need to see past the, what you see in front of you and focus on what's really going on. What's the deeper, what's the deeper story going on? So when you're not, able, you're not able to get through, it's kind of like it's the time to chop wood and carry water. It's the time to do mundane tasks. So it feels like for a lot of people, there's a lot of things that are at a stall right now. And the full moon, is, which, is, which makes sense, because the full moon is coming on the 14th, right? What day is it? Today's the 11th. So on the 14th is the Pisces full moon, and I'm a Pisces moon. So. That's why it feels like it's all getting cluttered and, and it needs to get cleared out. So it'll be great to do a full moon re release on the, on the 14th. And then I'm going to Sedona on Monday for four days to recharge. It'll be amazing. Would have been cool to be in Sedona on the full moon, but I'll release all whatever, get rid of it, and then I'll be ready for the new. So uh, if you're feeling that way, everyone's feeling that way. Everybody's kind of at a place where you've got to be a little bit patient right now because maybe the things that you have laid, laid into motion the seeds that you've planted, you've got to wait for them to come out. The things, you've got to let spirit have the energy now. Now it's spirit's time. 
to kind of maneuver things while we just kind of do our thing. I'm super dehydrated, super dehydrated. So that's another thing. Um, remember our reading last week, they said pay attention to three days before the full moon and three days after, how your body's feeling, what's going on, what are your dreams like, what is your mood like, pay attention. So this is three days before, pretty much. And I'm dehydrated, um, I'm, I'm processing a lot of things right now. So that's what everybody's doing is processing. So I'll give you items to choose from. I didn't do the elements uh, the last time, which I will this time. The frog, since f the frog is about cleansing and transformation and releasing baggage. So I'm going to Sedona and there's going to be, um, I called in the rain and it's gonna be pouring apparently when I'm there, thunder and lightning, yay. So we're gonna use this as the water element, the frog. See the little daisy flower on top? So water element, and then we've got the green tree of life, the crystal. This will be earth signs, not earth signs, earth element. You don't wanna do signs because we've all got all of the elements. So you guys are gonna to have to figure out what it means for you, right, for earth element. Um, because right now, if, if you were to look at a zodiac reading of, of who I am at this moment. I'm the queen of pentacles. So I, I'm not an earth sign, but I am that energy right now. So you gotta, if you know anything about the zodiac, um, and if you wanna follow and do it according to the zodiac, then you need to know what your, what your chart holds and what, what elements are you embodying. We have all of them, right? We have all of the elements. Sometimes you're um, like, like, am I feeling uh, emotional? No, I'm very steady, I'm very stable, I'm very, I'm, I'm getting business done, I'm getting things in order. I'm being very queen of pentacles, you know, business. It's what it is, it's business, strictly business, keeping it business and not getting emotions involved. I have a Pisces moon, so we'll see what happens after, right? It might switch. So, earth elements. The incense, and I'm so bummed I ran out of my Egyptian musk, I have to, Get some more of that. I don't know what this is. It was written on here. I don't know what it is. It's either tiger's blood or um, wolf spirit. So we're gonna use the incense for fire element. Correct for neutrality on all levels. We're asking for a clearing on this. I went to my favorite thrift store to get some um, cooler, lighter tops for Sedona. And this is one of them. Isn't it fun? Such a Stevie Nicks top. It's like a little crop top. <laughs> I love this. It's so Renaissance boho. Okay, so here's fire element. Oh, I do have one stick. It didn't burn out. That's why it didn't burn out. Okay, we'll light that one in a minute. Where can I put this one? I don't have any plants. Oh, there's one. Song playing, where's the love? Another song? All I hear about this is the CIA. Okay. Practice what you preach. Did you turn the other cheek? Father, Father. Send some guidance from above. People got me asking, wondering, where's the love? So we're asking for guidance. That's what we're asking for now. So because of that, um, so we've got earth, water, fire. So the air element. Oh, I know what we'll, we'll use. I've got these little dragonfly lights. I just got them. <laughs> so did they light up? Dragonfly lights. Oh, wow, they look really cool. Here. Can you see them? The reasons are undercover. So there's the dragonfly lights, okay? That's for the air element. Okay. 
so we'll start with the water element. Put these over here. Froggy. Detach. I'm feeling detached. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels, but maybe somebody needs to detach from something. Um, so interesting, when I said that, you need to detach from something, I was going for a different deck, but my uh, higher self chose the Vampire Oracle. Right as I said that, a crow went by. The crows that were energy vampires, remember? Poor, poor crows, they get such a bum rap. I want to find, um, just because of that, I want to find and share with you the crow totem in, uh, in the positive. Because they've, remember I said those guys have given crows a bad name? So, crow. Do not be afraid to use your voice powerfully to speak out with integrity. Know that you will need to address these issues in order to restore harmony. You're gonna have to speak up. You're gonna have to speak up, you're gonna have to speak out. And you're gonna have to be unafraid of speaking your truth. If you wanna, if you wanna bring harmony back to the situation that's going on around you. And they've, they've given you double, em double emphasis because if you don't, you're not standing in your integrity. It's important for you to stand in your integrity. Spirit, uh, the crows are also saying that you've got magical abilities that are waiting to be discovered and developed within you. So explore the unknown. Correct for neutrality on all levels. The crow is um, a symbol of, normally they say bad luck, right? And death, but it's not always the case. It can also be magic. And magic is just something that's fa fa fabulous energy, right? They're very intelligent, they're very flexible. Uh, they like shiny things, I know that. Wow, triple emphasis on, on using your voice powerfully. I use a, um, a site that, that gives several different messages from the crow, and three times we've been given that same message. Explore the unknown, use your voice if you want to restore harmony. You do have more magic and ability that you can discover to use for this situation, for this purpose. So there's divine balance in everything. Without darkness, there cannot be light. A lot of times people have, um, they don't want you to see their, the skeletons in their closet. And I got a really funny message the other day. Somebody said, man, anymore, if you've got a skeleton in your closet, write a book, make money on it. Nobody gives a crap. Really, people are so worried about, oh, you're gonna find this out about me. I will tell you something, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Several, several years ago, six years ago, when I was with my twin soul, we weren't together. He lived, lived quite a, he lived quite a distance away from me, and he asked me to send him a picture. I thought it was him, and I didn't want to because it was a naked picture. I didn't want to do that. I'd never done that. And uh, finally, because I hadn't seen him for so long, I decided I would. And somebody else at his work got a hold of it. I watched it all. I saw it all. And they copied off pictures off of the um, off of the email. They made copies of them. And they sent them around the office and they showed people. And uh, the pictures were sexy as hell. I mean, I'm not embarrassed of them. So what I got from Spirit was that somebody's got those and wants to um, use them to discredit me and humiliate me and, you know. So I, I figured the best way to disarm that is just to tell you straight up. If you see them, <laughs> my body's, no. Oh, I, I guess I am. I was gonna say my body's not quite as tight as it was then, but it is, it is. You don't see my face in the pictures, but you can see my mermaid tattoo, so you'll know it's me. And I thought, you know, hell, it's, it's my body. You guys have bodies, you guys have vaginas. We all, you know, people, people uh, masturbate. Everybody does the same old thing, right? And if you don't, you're a prude. So there it is, it's out. So if anybody wants to flash that out and think they're gonna ruin my life by doing that, you're wrong, I'm not embarrassed. I, that was the love of my life. And it was a private email between he and I. It was nobody else's business. And yet it was shared and it was, it was leaked to me that it was, they were gonna be used and it was going to be held over me or humiliating me and it doesn't humiliate me. What, humi what should have humiliate is that person who had the nerve to go into somebody else's private email. They should be humiliated for having such poor character. So anymore, if you have a secret, 
it's really not a big deal. You know, people used to think, oh my God, that's gonna put a red mark on my back. Oh, please, do I care? No, I don't care. Now you might be from a family of snobs and it's all about the way you appear. And what's funny about that is generally those families have the biggest skeletons in their closet and the most, right? So everybody has darkness and light, right? Just because I took naked pictures of myself and sent them to my lover, doesn't mean there was something that I did that was wrong, that I'm disgusting and that I'm dirty, right? Oh, she doesn't belong in our family. She's got a foul mouth. Hmm. Says the man who molests children and cheats on his wife. Really? It's all very um, hypocritical. So you're being guided through the situation, whatever it is that you're going through. And it's definitely, the crow talks about a symbol of change, change in the wind. And... It's telling you that everything that you've been working towards is coming to fruition. So this stagnant period that we're feeling, this feeling of um, buffering that we're going through, it's just to allow everything to catch up, basically. It's all, it's all coming to fruition. And the messages that you're getting, what's interesting to me is things are buffering, but I'm getting messages like crazy. Just clarity coming through like cra crazy. Crazy because this is a, uh, a time of processing, right, and figuring things out. It's also letting you know that you might be spreading yourself a little too thin. I can't do this, 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 and this. So pick what's the most important for you. You need to reassess where you are and, and what you want. And is what you're doing getting you what you want? Are you happy? Are you living your life for somebody else's dream? Or are you living your dream? This is your life, right? Symbol is a, um, a, a I mean, crow is a symbol of a personal integrity. Um, they're hard workers, they're, they, they care about other people's opinion, but they shouldn't be hung up on other people's opinion. They're willing to um, do things at the last moment, which I like, because I do things by the seat of my pants. And they know that the most important thing is to live in the moment. We can't go back and undo the past or redo the past, and we can't go into the future because we, we don't know yet, right? So we have to stay present. All right, we're shuffled enough. For those who chose the frog, and my voice is extremely, I mean, my, uh, my mouth is so incredibly dry. So this one, wow, witness. I said something in the last reading, and I said something about everybody was there. They just, they just showed up to, um, and I didn't say testify, but I said everybody just showed up to um, play their part, right? Or, but what I heard in my head was they showed up to testify. So somebody was a witness to something. I have been a witness to a lot of things. In my dreams, I see things happen. And it's, it's about personal evidence that you have. And it's about speaking out about what you know. So it, I just did that, right? I mean, I figured, hell, I'm not gonna let you, I, I, I'll cut you off at your knees. Before you go out and think you're gonna try and discredit me and ruin my, my reputation, you're not ruining my reputation by, by saying that. I said it myself and I'm not embarrassed of it. So here you are. And maybe what you thought was a rumor, you thought this was a rumor. Or maybe um, you thought somebody made it up. Well, I'm here to tell you it really happened because I saw it happen, right? So this is also, you thought perhaps, you've, you've heard of people talk about ghosts and, and spirits and woo, but now maybe you've seen spirit like I have, right? So this is about also dreams that you have had coming to fruition. I've seen it beforehand. There's so much more than we understand. And once you know what you know, there's no way of going back and, and unknowing it. You know, right? You've witnessed it. You can't deny it. You can't lie to yourself. You can't pretend that you don't know what you know. You, don't, you can't pretend you don't know the things that you've seen that people have done that they shouldn't have done. And you can't pretend to not understand that spirit is working with you when you've actually witnessed it yourself in action right this is telling you also you 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 know when some that somebody's been lying you know that somebody's been manipulating you know who they are i know who they are i know i know who they are i saw the blonde bimbo and the brother high-fiving each other and the mom that was involved i know who's working together right i've seen you i've seen you all along so the veil of illusion and deceit is lifted and it sucks actually when you see it sometimes to, for, you, for you to recognize and understand and like, I, I kind of had a feeling, but now it's been proven to me. Wow, you were lying to me this whole time. It was you all along, really? And I cared so much about you. And this is about 
you're not gonna lie to me. I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm just blocking you. I'm, I'm detaching from you. This is about saying, I will not be lied to. I will not be hurt by you again. I'm ready to move forward. And whether you deny it or not, I know it's true. I already know. So there's no denying it. And don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself to protect someone else and don't lie to yourself to, you know, it, I, what I watched is I watched a father molesting a child and abusive to the child and the, and the mother turned a blind eye. Like, you know what happened. And even if you, you weren't 100% certain at that time, you now know, you know. And now something's expected of you. It's expected of you. You were a witness to something. This is also about others who have betrayed you. Ones that you thought should be loyal to you and they weren't loyal to you, they compromised you, they betrayed you for money, for position, for approval. You've spoken to somebody in privacy and they have told someone else. So, let's go forward and see what about that? What about that? What do you want us to know about concerning that? What about that? Maybe that's all you just needed to know. Maybe you just needed to know that you were right. Something's going to happen within the next few weeks. I saw somebody being arrested. I saw somebody going to jail. I saw somebody kill themselves as well. So pay attention. I also saw somebody's child not well and the mother brushed it aside, didn't listen. Don't brush it aside, listen. They're not well and they, they will not argue with you, but they're not well and they're asking for help. I've watched it before where somebody said that they, they couldn't drive. I wasn't, I have had too much to drink. I shouldn't be driving. And they said, you're fine, you're fine. And then they drove and they got into a car accident and someone was killed. Pay attention. Don't be feeding people alcohol and allow, allowing them to leave your house or telling them that they're fine and that they want you to drive. Don't, and don't you feel that, like I've done that. I knew I shouldn't have driven, but the person I was with was, was hammered. And they said, better if you, you drive. And then who got the DUI? I did. Peer pressure, don't allow peer pressure to cause you to do something that you wouldn't otherwise do. Six, the number six is applicable in this situation. Could be the sixth of the month, it could be six weeks, six days, six hours. Um, the child that's sick could be six. All right, that's it. You know something. Okay, for those who chose, let me put this away. For those who chose the earth element or the bejeweled tree, this is money, this is, this is abundance, this is fertility, this is growth, this is healing, this is love. Family sometimes is not blood family. Look at all the different colors here. All the different, could, could represent different nationalities. We're all part of the United Collective. This, this I feel represents us. Right? It could represent something to, to you that's different. It doesn't have to be what I think. Um, okay, well, I heard Sacred Rebel. Interesting, I had a totally different deck that I, I felt I was gonna speak with. This is a difficult deck, deck to work with. Um, I wanted to work with, and I'm going to, I guess I just haven't hit the right element for it. Um, so we're working with the uh, earth element now. So with, that's kind of the, the hard workers, right? The ones that are steady and, and keep being more logical. It's kind of like the, obviously it would be Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, kind of that energy. And you're being called the sacred rebels or the sacred rebels are calling you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the earth elements or the bejeweled tree, correct for neutrality on all levels. My solar plexus is spinning really, really quickly right now. Interesting. These shuffle really, really well. They feel really good. Ooh, right then, butting heads. All right, 
That means stop. Don't argue. Defend to the end the worthwhile. Defend to the end the worthwhile. And you see this one is wearing the headdress of the seer, of the owl. And she is, at first, if you were to look at her, you would see tears falling down her face, but it's war paint, as far as I'm concerned. It's talking about illusions and reality, truth. And we've, this seems to be a theme. I didn't realize that this is gonna be our theme. So beneath the lies, there's something worthwhile. Interesting. There's something that needs to be questioned, something that needs to be challenged, something that needs to be let go of, removed, because it's suffocating you. Suff something is suffocating you. It needs to be set aside, let go of. Because at once you were compromising, but now there is no compromising. There is no more inflexibility at this moment because you're not in your truth. And when you're not in your truth, you're floating in a sea of doubt and despair. So this is defending. This is, a, this is a warrior. This is a sacred rebel. Defending what matters. Stop being so sensitive, some people say. Stop making such a big deal out of things. Because to them it doesn't matter. But to you it does matter. And, it's, and they're thinking there's something wrong with being sensitive. This warrior has war paint on, but tears as well. Very sensitive, very concerned about ones that are being damaged, taken for granted. Animals that are being hunted, paid no attention to. It's telling you that if you make the wrong step, make the wrong choice. You could slip and fall to your death. And you would think to yourself, here I am with the headdress of the seer, so much is expected of me, but what, what would one person's actions do it's like one drop in a bucket how how could i make a difference just one person anyway but spirit says that's not the truth because when we stand in our integrity and we stand for a cause we stand up and fight against we send a statement an energetic statement out into the world and that ed energy vibrates very very strong and it expands and spirit is saying at this moment you're being asked to stand strong warrior stance. You're not going to capitulate. You're not going to be flexible at this time. It feels like you might be in the fight of your life and you are, you're not backing down. I'm not backing down. I'm standing my integrity and my honor. I know who I am and I know what I deserve and I know what is right and I know what is wrong and I'm not putting up with any bullshit. It's not gonna happen. Maybe there's an idea that you have, something that you wanna do and other people think it's of no significance. You are maybe working in a company. Maybe you have a family business and there's something that you really feel is important and, and, and the person who holds the, per, the purse strings disagrees and they keep telling you, yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that, but they never get to it. They never take you seriously. It never happens. What you've been promised is a lie. They're never going to do this. It's too impractical. You're not gonna make enough money off of that. It doesn't, it's not gonna fly. So it isn't honored, but it means a lot to you. So whatever it is that's going on, or maybe it's about to happen, this, sometimes we get things ahead of time. You're being asked to stand true. You're being asked to call upon the ancestors for help as you, as you stand and you speak your truth. I'm not okay with this, what we're doing. It goes against my integrity. It goes against my moral fiber, and I'm not doing this anymore. I might have, been, I might have done this. I might have lived this way, but now I've been enlightened. Now I have recognized the truth of what's going on, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to allow this to happen. And I'm gonna do what I feel is right, what I've wanted to do all along. I, I always had an idea of what I wanted to do. And, and you kept saying that we were gonna do this, but we never got around to it. It never got around to being me, my idea. And so I'm gonna leave this, and now I'm gonna do what I wanna do. 
and I'm going to ask spirit for support and protection. Song right now, how do you sleep when you lie to me? What about me? What about us? What about the truth? What about what really matters? It's always put on the back burner. I've got a very important job. I, mean, I don't care about your job. I come first before your job or there's no point. Or in the family, you know, like I said, your ideas are always put on the back burner. They always promise that, that you will, will do yours next, but they never do. And they never will. That's what you have to understand. So this is you standing up and saying, I don't want to do this anymore. This doesn't work for me. It's not what I've, I have came here to do. It's not my soul's path. And if it was before, it's changed. Call upon spirit to help you speak your truth. When you feel like nobody's listening to you and you're fighting to be heard, I want to be heard. I want to be seen. And I don't, I'm not heard and I'm not seen in this group of people, in this family, in this job. So there's no, in this relationship, I'm not seen and I'm not heard. And so I don't want to have any, anything to do with it. How do you sleep when you lie to me? I'm going to do what feels worthwhile to my heart, to my soul. I'm going to do what I know is right. And all along, you're, you were, you were given, you were lied to. You were lied to. People that, they, they acted as though, yeah, that, they agreed with you or, or, or they felt the same way, but they really never did. They never gave credence to what you, they laughed behind your back. They talked behind your back. They gossiped behind your back. I'm not going to get angry about it. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to have nothing to do with it. I'm just going to move on with my own life and do my own thing without you and continue to do the work that I came here to do rhyming okay I don't that was channeling because I had no idea that that was coming out so I had a different message in my head but I guess spirit had a different message so that's very interesting to me um, I'm gonna ask for a couple of these little cards too to clarify it I mean because that was kind of I don't even know what's in regards to Friends at this time, friends at this time. If you were thinking anything else, friends at this time. Commitment, wow. So there's two opposites, right? One wants to be friends at this time, one wants a commitment. So then it doesn't work, it's over, done. Correct for neutrality on all levels. One more. Treat yourself to what you want, you deserve it song right now um i'm a crazy gemini and it's talking about this bonnie and clyde girl the, the blonde bimbo that's that smacked the guy's hand and they did the high five because they thought that, that the under uh like the machinations and the manipulations were working and they thought they'd done a good thing to keep people apart they were working together as a team and they thought that they were being undetected all along and it's this one i'm a crazy gemini and the girl uh uh hoped to die Bonnie and Clyde to the death and it's interesting because he's saying be faithful to me and she says I'll try and what was interesting to me is they're, they, they're supposed to be doing this tag team thing right but in all reality he was cheating on her and she was cheating on him because I saw them both do it <laughs> so here you're thinking you're messing with someone else they thought they were ganging up on the same person as a team well both of them were cheating on the other karma isn't that karma wow Okay, so then uh, the dragonfly lights. So what do we have? We have the dragonfly lights. Oh, we have the incense. Okay, so we'll do... Well, we'll do the dragonfly lights since the, the, the rainbow dragonfly lights. There's a message in that. And I just got... Somebody needs to apologize. Okay, so the deck that I want to use is... Where is it? To my lover, I'll be true. I was looking right at it. I was looking right at it and I didn't see it. Just like, just like what I got all along. Looking right at it and didn't see it. It's interesting when you listen to this song, To my lover, wait. Cross my heart and hope to die. 
hope to die to my lover never lie I'll be true so in the end it's him and I him and I it's called cross my heart hope to die to my lover I'd never lie cross my heart with your fingers crossed behind your back right he said be true and she says I swear I'll try He's out of his head, and I'm out of my mind. We got that love, that crazy kind. They are. They're fucking crazy, those two. My 65, speeding up the PHC, hell of a ride. You just don't want to see us make it. They just want to divide. Bonnie and Clyde. Wouldn't see the point of living if one of us died. Got that kind of style. Everybody try to rip off. And then they talk about YSL dress under when she takes the mink off. Silk on her body. Pull it, and I watch it slip off. Ever catch me cheating, she'd cut my dick off on and on and on so they're this they've got this they feel this wild crazy love for one another right that's what they think cross my heart hope to die and she says to my lover I'd never lie but she was cheating all the while wanting his brother we turn up mobbing until the end of time little gangsters gangster girl and gangster guy and who they thought was loyal to them was cheating on them the whole time correct for neutrality on all levels Fairy tale oracle for air signs and air element. So the air element would be the queen of swords, the queen of um, the king of swords. That would be speaking the truth. If it's in reverse, it's uh, pretty bad. It's these two, these two. That's who we're talking about. Which would be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Those are the air elements. In the positive, it would be logical right intelligent logical words the use of words proper use of words correct for neutrality one more okay correct for neutrality on all levels Ooh, that was very clear the white snake wow now i got it remember i said when we got the white snake this weekend i said this one wants you to believe that your friend they want you to believe that they're your friend but are they they're wrapped around you and look they're they're what it's white so this is who we're talking about. That crazy Gemini is the white snake and is not your friend. We've already had this message. We just had this message. So that must have just been confirmation for me. So thank you, Spirit. I already knew. Thank you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I like how they work. The Little Mermaid Sacrifice. Hmm. So she holds this boat, this bottle of potion. And the number is seven. Seven is a sacred number for me. It's uh, stay on your spiritually illuminated path and it will exceed your expectations. The number seven. So someone says, I will prepare a potion for you. And you've got to swim to the land before sunrise and sit on the shore and drink this potion. And your tail will disappear. She wanted to be like people, right? And have legs. But when you walk, it's going to be with great pain as though a sword was slicing through you speaking of air element right so when this message comes to you know that you're considering making a very big sacrifice first of all you're, you're gonna give something up in exchange for something else you're gonna give up your voice your true voice or you're restricting your voice you're you're either not gonna say how you feel because you want other people to accept you right or you don't want you don't want to have a problem you, you're the one that, that doesn't want to uh, you know I just want to keep the peace that's that's what's going on or you've given up your emotions to an environment or you've given of yourself to something that doesn't suit you it doesn't fill your needs it doesn't fit you it's painful you feel ill at ease you feel heavy you feel sick to your stomach because you've compromised yourself why am I sacrificing so much of myself so that I can belong why should I do this? This is coming forward when you're considering making changes to your body. You're gonna, I'm gonna go get implants. I'm gonna go get plastic surgery. That's a big deal, right? It's gonna be painful. Is it worth the sacrifice? Spirit says, why are you considering making these changes? Who are you trying to impress? Is it for you or is it to be accepted? Is this something that you're doing? Whatever this change is that you're considering, making is this something that you're doing for yourself or are you doing it because someone expects it of you are you denying parts of who you are because it's not acceptable your heritage because it's looked down upon 
are you are like the first person are you are you pushing down your your skills and your desires and and what it is that you really want to do because the family doesn't agree the friends don't agree I'm going I want to be with you so in order to be with you I'm gonna give up this whatever you give up make it worth the sacrifice what there's this this magic is that you're going to give away is it too great of a cost really weigh it is it worth it to you what you're going to have to give up and what's interesting to me is it just depends on what it is like my family doesn't like my lover and so my family says it's either him or me I mean him or it's him or them I would have I wouldn't hesitate five seconds because if my family said that I would have to give up the one that I loved or I would have to I would lose them they're not my family they don't love me who would say something like that I wouldn't hesitate for a moment would you but some people would if you go with that person I'll cut you out of the will you'll be disowned I've seen that I've watched it in my dreams that's what I don't know if it was the grandmother or the mother somebody said to another if you go with her I will disinherit you and so they chose the money but they're miserable and they knew that they should have they didn't choose choose with their heart you choose with your heart what it is that matters the most to you I'll never leave my path for someone never it'll never happen so they're telling you you're also sacrificing too much like I said when I was uh, up in Idaho they had the bear and and remember I was gonna get the bear and she said everything's gone haywire and I, I can't ring this up and I said that it's not meant to be to go home with me if it doesn't want to go through I, 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 I it's not meant to come with me and she says I'll give it to you and so the message was I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill myself I'm not gonna sacrifice myself for you if you don't want to come to me I'm not gonna chase you and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose my integrity or compromise my integrity or my standards or my value in order to win you over you're not worth it I am I am for myself I don't compromise my standards my integrity my honor my morality for anyone you're not worth it the money no one can buy me it's not worth it to me because there's nothing that you can give me that spirit can't give me better and so this little mermaid doesn't make a sacrifice for her honor her integrity so the question is do you and then if there's something that somebody wants to trade for oh we'll do this and we'll do if, if you do this we'll do that but that's what I was watching if you do this for us we'll do that but they're lying they never will so you want to think about sacrifices about bargains over the long term well if you do this you sign up you know then we'll do that but then it never happens it's asking you to beware of relationships that demand such great sacrifices of yourself like I got yesterday you know the message was well he's got a very important job you know and there's a lot of people that he helps and I don't give a fuck about your job if I don't come first in your life I don't want to have a relationship with you because you would come first in my life there's a lot of people with a lot of jobs that are very important but their loved ones come first and if I'm not that then we don't have a relationship worth fighting for not on my end this is also about unrequited love love that you're constantly having it's just not enough to keep that going right it's best to say goodbye it's best to, to wave goodbye love yourself recognize that your uniqueness is the most precious thing in the world and worth fighting for and standing for correct for neutrality somebody said to me yesterday um, they were very worried about this person they were working very very hard paying all the bills this person wasn't doing anything she was carrying him and she said but what if he and she put her foot down she said no enough is enough enough is enough and she says but what if he goes off and and goes to that girl that lives in the you know lives in her car she's got that real free spirit energy and I said if he does that do you really care <laughs> because I don't have any competition I don't think you have any competition either if you have to worry that someone's gonna go and cheat on you you shouldn't be in that relationship focus on what you really want now right on what you really want not on what someone else wants or wants for you there's a lot of very important jobs very very important jobs in this world none of them are more important than you and somebody has financial issues well we all can have financial issues spirit can help with that that doesn't put anything on hold either 
It, it's an excuse. It's just an excuse. Oh, I've got financial issues. Oh, my job. You have to open your eyes and recognize when you're being lied to. Big happy changes. If you got a line, if you focus on what you really want and you're concerned with financial issues, Spirit promises big happy changes coming into your life. But you have to stay on your path. No matter what you do, no matter what you go through, don't leave your path. Spirit will help you through it and they'll help you get through to the other side and, and prosper. Just don't leave your path. Okay. For the last, for fire element, which would be determination, passion, excitement, daring, could also mean arrogance, temper, controlling, er you know, arrogant. I said that twice, so that must be a reason for that. Fire signs, fire element. What deck? Alice the Wonderland. I always think about feeling like Alice in Wonderland when I go to Sedona. <laughs> it's a magic, we call it the magic kingdom. For those who chose the, er, the fire element, and we're gonna light this one, because this is my last Egyptian musk. We're about to light it on fire. smells amazing. Amazing. Okay. For those who chose the fire element, and the fire element was the incense. Egyptian musk. Correct for neutrality. Oh, I love this song. Pink song. You were laughing. I was crying. We were dancing, dancing on tables. Remember when? Going back many, many years. Just to tell you what I'm feeling, but you already know. Can we pretend? Remember I told you that somebody's father was shown to me as Trump, President Trump? and it wasn't in a good light. I remember conversations, we were dancing on tables, taking pictures when we had nowhere to post. Before Facebook, remember? You were laughing, I was crying. We were dancing, we were dying. Sometimes I didn't know, I don't know how we walked away. If I'm honest, what I liked were the things that we didn't know. Every morning, every night, I'd be beating down your door just to tell you what I'm thinking, but you already knew. Screw this, I don't wanna let it go. So can we pretend that I'm 22 today, dancing on the tables with you? Can we pretend that we end up okay? I just want to forget with you. Can we pretend that we both like the president? Because we both don't. Can we pretend that I really like your shoes? Hell yeah. Can we pretend? Because honestly, really, reality, it bores me. Let's pretend or let's make believe. Can we pretend? I remember what we wanted. What we'd never take for granted. How our daddy issues took us to LA. If I'm honest, what I miss is not knowing what to say and the feeling of your lips and it haunts me every day when you tell me what you're thinking, but I already know. Screw this, I don't wanna let it go. So can we pretend that I'm 22 today, dancing on tables with you, okay? Can we pretend we end up okay? I just wanna forget with you. I wanna pretend the way we both like it is, the way it is, hell yeah. Can we pretend that we like these fake ass dudes? Yeah, can we pretend, because honestly, reality bores me. Can we pretend? If I'm honest, what I liked were the things that we didn't know. Every morning, every night, I'd be beating down your door just to tell you what you're, I'm thinking, but you already know. So screw this, I don't wanna let it go. Can we pretend that we both like that freaking ass president? Can we pretend that you like my fake ass shoes? Yeah, can we pretend, because honesty, reality, it bores me. Can we pretend? Honesty, can we pretend? One of the cards flew out, so that's our card. Clock time, tick tock, tick tock. Time, pressure, in a rush. And the number is 14, that's, if that's not an oxymoron, which I am an oxymoron in itself, what is that called? A paradox, right? When you're one way, but you're completely the other way at the same time. That's why I'm a Gemini rising. <laughs> that's why that guy's a crazy Gemini. So this is time, pressure, and in a rush, but the number 14 is temperance. So this is times when you need to move quickly when you've got opportunities, 
but you've got appointments and you've got deadlines, important responsibilities, and you might be consumed with them. You might be, you know, I'm, I'm under the gun, and you know, this, I've got deadlines, this has to be brought in by this time, bills need to be paid, you get anxious, you get upset, you get frustrated, you start moving faster than you're supposed to move, you start, your heart starts to race, you're not feeling very well here. And Spirit says, even though it's true that you do have a deadline, you need to slow down. You need to slow down so that you can attend to your responsibilities in a responsible way. You're in the midst of, of a cyclone and you've got to stay calm in the eye of the storm. So let go of, the, of, the, of the, that feeling that, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let go of that feeling that you have to rush because you gotta impress somebody. Somebody's watching you. I've gotta, I've gotta live up to that standard. This is what's expected of me. Well, do your work. Do your work carefully, do your work precisely, do your work honestly. And if you have to work faster than normal, you're not able to do that. You can only do what you can do. You're not a machine, you're a human being. So right now Spirit is saying there's no need to rush. Give your work what it deserves, whatever it is that you're doing. Stay calm, have a plan, stick to it. Everything's gonna be okay, you don't have to panic. They're saying it could be an added workload. Maybe this has been dumped on you by your boss. You've got new responsibilities now. You've been promoted to a higher position. Too much to do. But maybe the problem is that you have the inability to say no. It's enough. It's enough. Or you need to learn how to delegate authority because you're not the be all end all. It's not you that has to do everything. Maybe there is a great opportunity in front of you. But you need to take charge of your workload. You need to say when, you know what, I'm tired. I need a break. I'm not going to keep going at breakneck speed because what's the point of ending up with a heart attack because I'm so stressed out? This could also be the complete opposite. I'm procrastinating. I'm using my job as an excuse. I'm using my family as an excuse. I'm delaying. I'm delaying. I'm refusing to meet this deadline that I know. I know this has to happen. I'm not making any progress. I'm giving up on my dreams. I'm giving up. I'm just... I'm gonna, you know, it's not gonna work out. You know, it didn't, it didn't fly. Wow, you really cared that much, hey? That you would just let it go? That easy? Really? Not making any progress. Staying still when you know you need to move. When spirit says the opportunity to strike is now and you, need, you only have a short window of time and then you're coming up with a gazillion excuses. I've got family. I've got a family and friends that I need to take care of. I've got a job that, I've got an important job. Fuck your job, seriously and everybody else that you're taking responsibility of when they can take responsibility for themselves. If there's something that you know that you need to do or you're gonna miss out on this, then be prepared to give up on your dreams. Be prepared to lose what you wanted the most. And you'll have no one to blame but yourself. Don't go back later and blame your boss or your family or your friends. It's you that makes the choices. It's your life. Yes or no? Yes, with a capital letters and an exclamation mark. Wow. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Show me two more. You are on the right path. You are on the right path. So maybe somebody is telling you that it's not the right path and spirit saying, yes, it is. Yes, you are. Yes, capital letters. You're doing the right thing with what you're thinking, with what you're, how you're acting, with what you're planning, you're on the right path. And the answer's gonna be yes. Work-related concerns, but you're on the right path, you know what to do. The answer is yes. Am I gonna quit that job? Yes. Am I gonna speak my truth and say, I, I, this is too much for me, I need a break? Yes. Am I gonna, whatever it is, work-related concerns, you're on the right path, capital letters, yes. And remember what I said? Oh, I've got a very important job. A lot of people are relying on me. Yeah, well, I was relying on you too and I don't care about your job. So if you choose your job over me, we're done. That's the end. All right, that's it, you guys. We're at a wrap. Got everybody. If uh, anybody would like help with a private reading or um, anything else that I can help you with on my website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. I would be honored. I love doing my private readings. They're my favorite, favorite, favorite. And uh, I appreciate your patronage. And uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you found the video helpful, please click like. Comments are appreciated if they're positive. And please share the videos and, and uh, subscribe so you can get uh, notification when the videos come in. 
because YouTube is difficult and sometimes they don't um, they don't send them out so you're gonna sometimes you might have to have to check back but anyway I hope you guys are having a beautiful day I'll get ready to upload this quickly so you guys can get it as soon as possible I love you bye